Ryan Weathers who makes his fourth start of the season coming off a win against the Yankees Wednesday night in the Bronx and facing the Giants for the fourth time in his career first time as a starter and first time since 2021 when he was in that division with the Padre the Austin Slater in that very comfortable leadoff spot for out to right field that's Jesus Sanchez whoa yeah I don't know if that was wind or ribbon board or lights, be or lights. what have you but he's able to st stick with it and make the catch with a smile so here's Wilmer Flores it's a line drive hit deep to center field but right at Chisholm who has it measured he makes the catch and there's two outs and now Jung Hoo Lee will be the batter and he gets his first strike out here maybe he found the sweeper on that last one to Lee a one two three first inning Marlins come to bat next. The Giants are asking about Jordan Hicks and how he's doing it. Well, I mean, it's you're going to see a lot of fastballs, that's for sure. Hits that one to left. Conforto out there. Out number one. There is a shot towards the gap in right center field. The base hit for Jazz Chisholm Jr. It's a 15 game on base streak for Jazz. Here's Brian De La Cruz. That one hit hard to Chapman at third. That's one. Fitzgerald to first. Got him double play. So the Giants infield defense supports Jordan Hicks. One hit, nobody left. We go to the second, no score. Here's Tom Murphy. But nothing and two on Tom Murphy. And Weathers makes quick work of him, his second strikeout. Got him on the changeup. Real nice changeup. He got the arm up. You can see the circle chain. Little fade action. I'll bring up Matt Chapman. Hits that one to deep left center field. Matt Chapman, it is gone. Well up over the left center field wall. Man, did he smoke that one. His fourth home run of the year. It's one nothing Giants. Barrel right to that baseball and drives it out of here. 109 off the bat. Woo. Comes back with the sweeper and comes back after the home run with his third strikeout. One nothing. Jesus Sanchez. Got him. He went with the splitter for strike three, his first strikeout of the night. So here's Tim Anderson with two down and nobody on. Two, two. Strike three called. 98 coming back to the corner. Jordan Hicks with a dominant second inning. A couple of strikeouts. Yeah, he's a little upset. This was after the first pitch to Nick Gordon. He thought that a pitch clock violation should have been called for ball one after that whole bullpen fiasco but you can see here everybody's much more jovial right now and then Skip and Laz laughing and then Skip begins to explain why he was so upset last night Nick Ahmed says there's a swing and a miss by Ahmed he's down on strikes that was a wicked changeup another strikeout another changeup and there are two away the top of the order now and Austin Slater Slater lines that one into right field so that's a base hit for Austin he loves to go the other way brings up Wilmer Flores Wilmer out toward the gap in left center that's going to get down and it's going to go all the way to the wall Slater racing around third Matt Williams will send him and the throw will not be made Slater scores standing Wilmer Flores knocks in another run two nothing Giants bring up Tom Murphy how about Weathers and that changeup? Another strikeout, make it six. Two outs, two strikes here on Michael Conforto. Three. Call strike three. Frozen with the heater, seven strikeouts through four. Lisa Rise to lead things off for the Marlins. That's in the air, and that one's out towards center, and that's going to get down. Lee cuts it off, but it'll be a double for Luis Rise. Good start to the fourth inning for the Marlins. De La Cruz now. It's this one hard left center field and down it'll get to the wall arrives coming in to score. Brian De La Cruz continues to hit. No one has hit the ball harder than DLC this year. First and third for Jesus Sanchez. Bouncing ball towards short Ahmed that's one over to first. Safe and that'll lead to a run right now it ties the game. We'll see if the Giants want to take a look at it look close. In there safely, so the Marlins do tie things up. Good hustle down the line for Sanchez, and the bases are loaded with two outs. 37th pitch of the inning to right. Slater going back, squaring up, making the catch in front of the wall. And after all that, just a tie. We go to the fifth. It's two to two. Let's see if Tyler decides to steal here. So he's now on at first with one out. There he goes. Strike three. Safe at second base. So Slater strikes out looking, but Fitzgerald enough speed and got a good enough jump to where he makes it in there safely. Jung Hoo Lee, last time up, lined a ball hard to right field. 
popped it up. Lifted out towards center. Jazz camped underneath it. Makes the catch. And Weathers works out of trouble. Still 2 2. Jorge Soler is 0 for 2 tonight. 2 2. And he swings and misses strike three. Give him nine. Brian Weathers with nine strikeouts. He established a new career high with eight in the fifth. Here comes the one two pitch. Rocks and fires. Glove over his head. And a changeup is called strike three. Oh boy, did he ever get that call? Back to back days with double digit strikeouts from a Marlins starter. Josh Bell. And that is a fair ball, able to keep it fair the other way and into the corner. Bell to second with a leadoff double here in the sixth. First and third to start the sixth inning. So here is Tim Anderson. The first pitch from the right hander, Walker, is dribbled on the ground left side. It's going to score a run, throw to second in time, throw to first it is not in time. It's a fielder's choice RBI for Tim Anderson. The Miami Marlins have their first lead of the night. Back to back walks, and they're loaded for the top of the lineup. Over third and down a base hit. One run is home. Here comes a second. Throw is cut off. Luis arrives, drives home a pair. It was a sinker. It was down in the zone. And all he tried to do was basically play pepper with it, shooting it the other way. Ryan Weathers was uh, set to pitch. I don't know if his hand is cramping up or what, but here comes training staff and Skip Schumacher. He's got a smile on his face, so that's good. So. Maybe just a cramp, not sure. He's throwing his warm up tosses and then. Uh, He's got well, a cramp. Looks like that. He's got a cramp. If this was the last warm up toss. Yeah, it's just. Uh, Can't get it out of there. Arise was the first one to notice something was going on. He motioned for Skip, Skip Schumacher. I don't want to remind you, but I will. The Marlins have allowed more runs in the seventh inning and later than anybody in baseball. So Bert Smith will come in. Second and third. Now Lamont Wade Jr. is going to have to try to pick up the Giants. Wade, line drive, base hit left field. Conforto will score. Ahmed had to freeze to make sure it got through. So a run home. It's five to three. Still only one out. Big spot against Wilmer Flores. Marlin set up to try to turn two. On the ground. the hand, slow roller, second base. The flip to second for one double play. That took a heroic effort to turn two. And the Marlins have two on and two out. 0 1 to Nick Gordon. Right side through for a base hit. Sanchez coming around and he will score. RBI Nick Gordon. Marlins back to a three run lead. Tanner Scott on to pitch for the Marlins. Try to close this one out. 6 3 the lead. Back to back walks. And that will bring the tying run to the plate. Tyro's the tying run. He can hack right. Here comes the 0-2, and that is swung on in this strike three. He went with a high heater. He changed the eye level, and he blew it by him upstairs. Better be very careful here with Wilmer Flores, who's great at hitting lefties. Popped up. Off of first, Arise is there to make the catch. It's a Marlins win. Boy, did they need that. In the worst way team that had the fifth best home win percentage last year finally now two and ten here at home.